glad you made it back again. I got a special show for you today, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a OFM omelet for men. And what that is, is it's an omelet, and it's going to be special for men because they need a lot in it. They don't want to just have simple eggs for breakfast. So this could be for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And here I'll go into my little refrigerator right here and start out by letting you know all the different ingredients that I think that your man is going to love or your kids or your friends or your family or your neighbors or for the holiday when people spend the night and they're over and um oh and i gotta take out the bacon okay so what i have here is some spinach and you see i have that all laid out nice and pretty and that's what i like to do if i know that somebody's coming over then i go ahead and i wash my spinach and i lay it out on a plate and then when i take it out of the refrigerator just the the presentation makes everything, ooh, this is really going to be a special omelet. It's nothing but spinach lined up straight. So, half some spinach, tomatoes already cut up, some mushrooms. Of course, we have our eggs, some onions, and then I'm going to do just a little fruit treat on the side. So, I'll show you about that in a minute. And I have some sun-dried tomatoes with some cheese. Okay? And so, um, we'll be right back. Do you know what, again, I like, I, like I started to say, look at me, I'm just stretching this bacon. Um, again, like I started to say before, this can be breakfast, it can be dinner, it can be lunch. Sometimes you just feel like having breakfast for dinner. Or, yeah, dinner for breakfast? How's that go? Sometimes you just feel like having breakfast for dinner, at dinner time. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the stove, and I'm going to cut this on. And so this can be... And sometimes I like to just show you what I'm doing because a lot of times, like, sometimes my kids will tell me they don't know what to start cooking first, how to make everything end at the same time. So we'll put the bacon on and we'll get it going and it can be over there sizzling while we get our other stuff ready. Okay. And so what I have is some eggs. I've got here five eggs for this particular time. And so what you want to do is you want to hear your fork. Hear that? That's all about getting the eggs stirred up really good. For an omelet, they need to all be whipped together really good, okay? That way your omelet will come out nice and even, okay? There's a trick to cooking omelets. It's not just about dumping the eggs in there. There's a little bit of a trick to it. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay, so you get your eggs all stirred up. And what I do is I'm going to put sun-dried tomatoes in there. Well, in the sun-dried tomatoes, there's a little bit of oil in there. So I go ahead and I put the oil in there into the pan. So just kind of it gets it gets the pan going so that the omelet doesn't stick in the pan. I've done that for years and it's really turned out well. And then I have this cute darling little brush. And so what I try to do is I just try to brush all the bottom of the pan with that sun-dried olive oil. It kind of just has a nice flavor to it because it had the dried tomatoes in it, okay? So I got my fire going under my olive oil, just real low so I can get that kind of warm. And then I'm going to grate my cheese. And just a little trick, I'm not sure if everybody knows or not, is keep your cheese nice and cold, okay? Because when you're going to grate some cheese, and I'm just going to grate a little bit here to go on the omelet. But when you grate your cheese, if it's really cold, then it grates better. If it's soft, it kind of just bends and gets mushy and all that sort of thing. So I'm just going to grate it a little bit right here. And we're just going to put a little bit of, this is jack cheese. Pepper jack cheese. So I think we have just about enough cheese there. Oh, by the way, let me put my grease splatter on top of here. So, okay. I like to keep that on there just so it's not splattering everywhere. Okay, so now we have our cheese. Our cheese, this isn't cheese. Well, this is cheese, but it's mainly, mainly the tray with everything on I must just be thinking of cheese. I love cheese. And so when I know something's going to be in there, I can't stop thinking about it. Okay, and don't forget, this is the main star of the show, the eggs. Okay, so now we'll get our fire turned up just a little bit and get it going. Okay, we have the olive oil in there, the seasoned olive oil, and we're just going to dump our eggs in there. Now remember when you're making an omelet, you don't need to stir, you don't need to stir, you don't need to stir. All you want to do is get your eggs in there nice and good, put the top on, and let them cook. This is the mistake that we all make when we're trying to make an omelet is we think we got to stir it, move it around, something like that. We don't have to. We're just going to leave it sit there. We're going to let the pan and the lid do the trick, okay? Okay, so we have our top on. Let's leave that there like that. And let me get some seasoning. Throw a little bit of salt and pepper in there, okay? Go straight across there. Just enough to set it off. 
and then your grind, ground pepper, okay? Or whatever kind of pepper you have at home because nobody's going to know the difference, okay? So here we go there. You can already see it's starting to cook. The bottom's already cooking. Okay, let it get to work. Okay, and a little bit of pepper. Now what we're going to do is, and this is really good. Let me get my little spatula here and my, okay. Now, here we got the bacon in there. Okay, let's move that over. That's perfect. See, nothing like good old-fashioned bacon fried in the frying pan. Sometimes we forget about the little things that give us that flavor that we like. Okay, we're going to throw our, our mushrooms in there and just get them going good. Boy, that puts flavor to those mushrooms. And then even the onions. Get the onions in there. This is a great omelet. Okay. And then we have, uh, this is still cooking back over here at the ranch. Look at that. Okay. We're we'll cooking a little bit. We're getting a little bit of flavor in them. We got the mushrooms cooking a little bit. And don't cook them to death. That's what we all do. We cook them to death. Just enough to get the flavor in so that they'll be good. We won't want to cook them to smithereens and then the nutrients are gone and all that sort of thing. Okay, so now we got this going. Okay, this is pretty much cooked. I don't know if you can see in there, but look at that. This is ready. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're only going to put things on one side, okay? So we have our spinach. Let's lay it across there. You know me. It has to be fanned out in some type of special way. Um, but you do it how you like it, okay? And believe it or not, just by folding this over, it'll cook the spinach. Believe it or not, okay? And then we'll put our Roma tomatoes right there. We want that to, to be backed up against the eggs, okay? So that's all backed up there. And then you got your cheese, okay? Now what you got to learn to do is a lot of people don't eat cheese these days, so put cheese on one side. Always kind of do that. Something that a lot of people don't like, only put it on one side, and that way the other person doesn't have to deal with it, okay? So, now, here we got, okay, okay? Now what we're going to do is, all we're going to do is flip this over, okay? Here we go. Just flip it like a sandwich. Look at that. Okay, sometimes you might want to grab something nearby. I don't know if you, oh, ooh, 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 that was hot. Hold on. <laughs> sometimes you got to watch out for me, okay? I'm so busy thinking about you at home, I don't think about myself. Now, okay, so now I flipped it over. Look at that. It's beautiful. When have you ever seen an omelet look so beautiful? That's great. Okay, so now, ah, whew. okay, wait, I'm not done. Hold on. Okay, now what you want to do is put your put all your goodies on top, okay? Look at these. Oh my goodness. Just flavored perfectly with some with some uh, mushrooms and some onions. Here's the red onions. It'll just give it that flavor. It'll give it that look. A piece of bacon got caught off in there, but that's perfect. Okay. Put those up there and a little bit more onions. Okay, there you go. And then here's usually what I do is I take my tomatoes and I kind of let them sit there. I just kind of just saute them a little bit like that. I throw some salt and pepper on those because those are going to be the topping. That's what's going to set it off is just that colorful look right there of red to me. T -t 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 tomatoes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. And then, oh my gosh. I'm telling you, after you cook this omelet, which you can see for your own eyes, as simple as could be, who's ever over for breakfast thinks that you've gone way out of your way. That looks great. Look at that omelet. Doesn't that look great? Oh my gosh, it doesn't get any better than that. I am so sorry you're not here to take this with me, but let me, trust me, to do the tasting. It, oh, look. Now see, just like you didn't think you'd know, but the spinach is all cooked just perfectly. Everything's not cooked too much, so it has all the nutrients in it that it's supposed to have. Let me see. Mmm. 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 Woo, it's hot. <laughs> I couldn't stop. It's so good, but what gets even better is the crispy bacon that we stopped realizing how good it is crispy. We've been eating a soggy microwave bacon. This is great.
this for your man, for your husband, for your family, for your grandpa, for your grandma, for your, the neighbors, for your friends, who's ever over, they will be so impressed and it's really, really good. May God smile on your lips so your belly can laugh. Please tune in again. Thanks.